so now uh, we are going to have a bit of time. I think we are in the last uh, 45 minutes of the retreat. Uh, we may go for the retreat comments. If, any, if there's anybody who would like to share with us what uh, you learned throughout the retreat, here's the time. So uh, do we have a mic over there? Yes, please. Two mics? Yes, please. Bhante, uh, I, I wish to express my extreme gratitude for all teachings over the two days. I believe it has been very useful for all of the participants and I'm particularly uh, happy that the uh, the, the, the presentation has been uh, easily uh, understood by myself and uh, uh, I wish one day uh, a long, many years of uh, more teachings to more participants. Thank you, one day. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you, Bhante, for what you have taught us. Regarding the clearing of our bad karmas, you said that first we must repent, then we acknowledge it. Then later on, we must have patience, kanti, and forgive ourselves, and also ask for forgiveness. This is a very good way to clear our past uh, bad karmas. This I will do exactly that, and hope to clear much of my bad karma. Thank you, Bante, for uh, teaching us. Thank you. Maybe I continue. Um, my back karma is still a lot, I realize. <laughs> Even though sitting down here, actually it prevents me from uh, doing bad karma, basically by sitting down, meditating and so on. So I realized that um, I have been taking the human life, human life for granted. It's like uh, Bhante mentioned about going for the 10 uh, kusala and continue to practice so, because we always think that we always going to be human and uh, not going to drop anywhere, you know, into the animal realm and so on. So, I guess this retreat gave me the fire to, to continue to practice. And I like it when uh, Bhante says that at the end of the walking meditation, make an aspiration to continue in, at home in your daily life with the mindfulness. Mm -hmm. That means we are not just practicing when we are at the Vihara, but we also practice throughout. I think that's very important. Yeah. Sadhu Bhante.
if you want to give any thoughts, please raise your hand. Uh, she will pass the mic to you. Thank you, Bante, for conducting this retreat. Though in this world where we have this advanced technology, like internet, AI, we can get all this information, even how to attain Nibbana from AI, just type into the AI, the, I think, chat GPT, you just type how to attain Nibbana, the whole list of facts, they visit up to us. But the lacking of the, this technology is that they don't have the practical tools like what Bante has showed us, like step to step in case you want to overcome our bad karma. And then we also have this practical, to put the practical into action, like we can sit here and we have problem, we can have interview with Bante. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Bante for giving us the guidance and also Maha Vihara provide us this uh, conducive environment that we can put into practice and also can also mix out and make more Kayana Mita so that our journey to our spiritual path will be always on the way, not sway away, but always on the Nama path until we attain the, the bliss on the Bana at the earliest opportunity. Thank you, Bante, and thank you all the participants for also contribute by observing the noble silence so that we all also can practice in these two days. Thank you, Bhante, and thank you all the brothers and sisters in the Dhamma. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to add something to that uh, comment. Uh, why we are not able to see uh, some real information sometimes under the, uh, you know, internet information because it's because uh, they are fed information. Somebody has to feed into those websites. So it's important to have a wide reading about the text, a wide reading, not this sutta, that sutta. It's a wide reading about the concept. One concept, bad karma. Where are the teachings of bad karma, clearing bad karma information? Where are those information? So that reading is what you see, something exclusive. Yeah. All right, so we will probably take another five minutes only. Uh, if there's anybody who would like to um, say what did you learn, maybe how it's gonna help you, we will give you the chance. Thank you, Bhante. Uh, this has been a very good opportunity. Um, I don't know if the rest of you know, but uh, I'm Sikh by religion, not a Buddhist. <laughs> but um, I do believe in karma. I wanted to ask you a question just now, but uh, I let it lie. So it's okay. Um, I just learned that uh, we have to let go of the past, learn to forgive ourselves, um, we'll move forward, and um, I think that will help us all. Thank you. Uh, wait, uh, there's somebody over here. Yes, yes, brother. Um, 
Thank you, Bante. Yes. Uh, one of the things I learned is that when that strikes me is that when you, when you mention that when dealing with people that's uh, difficult to deal with, especially family members, so did we actually bring them and do our meta? So that actually strikes me because uh, all the while, when you're dealing with difficult people, I would say, just leave them alone, I just move on with it. So that statement actually strikes me. And the other thing that uh, I learned is that I managed to dislock, I mean, dislocate from my handphone for two days. I thought like, I, I would not be able to do it. So I mean, I, I learned from all this. Bante, thank you. Okay, thank you. And then over here, yes, please. Uh, Bante, good afternoon. In fact, I want to ask a question rather than comment. <laughs> Okay, shall we ask it now or after the... Maybe session? a short question because of the timing, yes. Ah, okay, it's short, okay. Yeah. It's a very short, okay. Yeah. This is the first time I do the walking presentation mm. so long. Mm. Okay, and then it's... Uh, he purposely added it. Huh? He purposely made it long. Oh, oh, oh. this <laughs> is the first time now with the long yes. path or so. Uh. So when I walk, 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 I feel very nice, but certainly I'm like going to cry in sharp one, you know. I don't know what is happening. Going to cry? Yeah, my, my feeling is like I want to cry and I want to shout mm. and then my tear coming down. Mm. So <laughs> I don't know okay. what's that. What was the state of mind you but had? First day is okay, you know. Second day only I have this experience. Mm. Yeah. So sometimes when you feel calm, you said that part too, right? In this answer question. Sometimes when you feel calm, uh, without a certain uh, incident, there is a kind of pouring, emotional pouring that can happen. Yeah, but it is not necessary because we don't need to, uh, you know, we don't need to let it happen because walking meditation is a conscious activity. When you do a, when we engage in a conscious activity, we are balancing out our emotions. There shouldn't have a pouring of uh, emotions at that point. It's not that we are not emotionally absent. We are emotionally very present. But we have to know what we are doing. If we know what we are doing, uh, that kind of situation can be overcome when you keep doing. As you said in your answer, this is the first time you've been walking that long, maybe that, uh, that uh, long distance and long time. You walk from here to there? Yeah. I told you, don't walk that far. <laughs> right, right, right. I tell you to cut it down, cut it in half, you know. This is too far, you know, I think. It's good that you ended up just by <laughs> having tears. <laughs> so this is too far, you know. I understand there was a problem. There are many people walking here and there, so you can't find your way out. So probably uh, this is a good far, you know. Then uh, I think that might have been a reason, maybe. This is too far. Then we become more exploring about what is this, rather than what is me, what is my walking. Right? We have to explore what is my walking like, not that what is this like, you know, this too far, too long, and all that. Perhaps you need to uh, choose a moderate distance, uh, too far. It might not, not work. Uh, but some people, even when they are uh, feeling good, calm, they might, they might, they feel they, 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 the tears are coming out. That's a different. Uh, it can also happen to some people. Uh, it shouldn't happen, shouldn't happen, because if you are really looking at your walking, such thing will not happen. But when people have a calmness after a long time, they have been suffering a lot in their whatever life, house, work. Then when they feel that calmness, they feel so happy. Have you seen people, parents, when they are shedding tears for happiness? When their children going well, doing well? These are happy tears. So I have to consider them as happy tears. <laughs> but it's not gonna be a normal thing, I think. It's better not to. So when you keep doing it, I think you will not make it. Rather than you are going to explore your walking, not that you are going to end up with the result of walking, like emotional response to the walking. 
it will happen slowly. So first, fighting first time, distance is uh, too far, and then when you fit into that kind of a nice uh, framework, things will be minimized, you'll be okay. Yeah. All right, any more questions? We will take maybe one question, uh, sorry, not question. <laughs> Comments? Feedback? Okay, okay, so we will uh, finish our feedback session with uh, Sister Cave. Yes, over here. Pante, Sukihon too. Sukihon too. Pante, I just want to say um, my gratitude yeah, for these two days. In fact, for the whole Vasa month, there have mm -hmm. been many lessons that we have learned. And uh, particularly these two days, because your compassion in teaching us something that is um, something that is very fundamental, but it is uh, it helps us to understand why the Buddha stressed so much to do good and do no evil. Because there's so much work to correct the evil things if we do it. Um, I'd like to say that uh, it is a rare tool that you have taught us. That you say it's not something we don't know, but we haven't fixed all this up. We haven't contemplated on how to move, what is the process. We know about it, but we have no structure. So this is a very good tool and a structure that you've given to us. And we hope that uh, this beautiful gift will help us to cultivate in our own journey. Thank you, Pante, for your love and compassion. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. That's an interesting remark. Normally, monks don't say that you can do bad, you, you can clear the bad karma. Say, don't do bad karma. Very harsh training normally. If you listen to a normal Dhamma talk, uh, there's almost no Dhamma talk about how to clear bad karma. See, how to create good karma, right? So it's a rare tool, yes, it's rare tool. So I'm, I'm very compassionate about all of you. <laughs> That's why this, this thought came up to me. Why don't I do a retreat about clearing bad karma with a meditation, right? So we have to look at everything, not that create good karma, good karma, good karma. Why don't we see people who messed up in their life, right? Screwed up in their karma. So this is a place. So it is not my own thinking, it's the Buddha thinking. When we read about Buddha's teaching, we find Buddha is including everybody. Even that serial killer to the, the most honest person on this earth. Everybody can be included. Suppose they are want to, uh, if they are want to, really become better people. So um, this uh, clearing bad karma is not an innovation. It might be an innovation in the way, uh, looking at how you have been listening, what things you have been listening over the past many decades. But Buddha has clearly given us. Let me uh, finalize uh, this session and go to the chanting with one interesting Pali Sutta, Maha Kamma Vibhanga Sutta. Maha Kamma Vibhanga Sutta. Is going to be uh, Majjhimanikaya's, I think. Let me see the number. Okay, this is going to be Majjhimanikaya's 136 Sutta. The exposition of the greater karma. Okay, MN 136. Yesterday, I got a question, personal question, somebody, from somebody that karma is a black and white thing. I said, no. And the person understood, yeah, 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 that's what you've been teaching. Karma is not a black and white thing. Good, good, bad, bad. This sutta clearly emphasizes it's not a black and white thing. Why? In this Buddha, Buddha talks about four uh, variances of karma. First two are black and white stuff. Good begets good. Bad begets bad. I think this is the common place. Everybody knows. Sometimes good begets bad. Bad begets good. This is a little bit complicated teaching. But don't put it in the same way like how we understand the first two. The Buddha says, how come someone having done good karma going to go through a, going to a hell, go to a certain 
uh, miserable place for a short time, huh? not for long term, for a short time. Like Malika, Malika's story, Kosala Malika's story. For something she did with an animal and she was reborn in a hell. The one who gave the biggest, largest dana for the Shakyamuni Buddha with 500 elephants. It is said that in the story, Arahan Angulimala did not have an uh, elephant. Then she could find out a white elephant. Very interesting. All the elephants were holding umbrellas to 500 arahans. But the one who gave the biggest dana went to a hell for a week. Why? This is the reason. The reason is there are people having done a lot of good karmas, but without samaditi, without the right view, they give dana, but they don't have wisdom. They don't give with wisdom. <coughs> they give with culture. They give with uh, the custom. They give with the culture. They don't get to the wisdom. So we have to give dana with wisdom. Samadhi is the wisdom. Because I have to give dana that will purify my thoughts, views. So if somebody is losing samadhi at the time of the death, even those good karmas might not work for that person for the immediate life that he is or she is going to be reborn. That's why when Kosala Malika passed away, uh, King Kosala wanted to ask from the Buddha. Buddha purposely made him forget about the question. He was going to ask from the house, but when he goes to the temple, he forgot. But Buddha makes him forget. Because he might be very disappointed about that. Because my wife did a lot of dana to the temple. How come she went to the hell? And on the eighth day, he did not make that happen. Yeah, yeah, she's in heaven now. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Because Buddha wanted, to f wanted people to feel good about everything, you know, what people do. So that's why. But finally, after seven days, she was back to normal. So that means samaditi and being able to have samaditi at the moment of the death is very important. Why some bad people, very bad people, can have a chance to be reborn in a heaven? We have so many examples in the text. Why is it? It is because somehow they managed to have a bit of an instant dharma hit about the Noble Eightfold Path, maybe samaditi at the time of the death. So they will be reborn in a heaven, maybe in a human life for a short time. But because of the habitual karmas, they get back to the hells. So karma is not a black and white uh, thing. Karma is a very uh, uh, non-linear thing. It's not a linear thing. If somebody teaches you karma is a black and white, it's not. But rest assured, I tell you, if you do good things, if you have the Noble Eightfold Path, yes. So you are going to be a part of the first thing. Good begets good. So, But don't tell anybody karma in Buddhism is linear. It's not happening in a certain way. It can get different depending on your last moment, depend depending on how you have done good karmas. All right, so uh, overall, for the two days, you've been learning what is karma and uh, how we might create bad karma. And for the bad karmas we've been doing, we can do something for them, not that we need to let it be happen. We can do something for our bad karma. So you don't need to worry about it. You can do something for that. What you can do, you can follow the Noble Eightfold Path and some other practices. At the same time, you can do a meditation with right efforts. You can do the meditation in the way, may I put in the efforts to prevent inactive akusala. May I put in the efforts to remove active akusala. May I put in the effort to maintain active kusala. May I put in the effort to create uh, inactive kusala. So when you do this four affirmation during the meditation, when you finish the meditation, then the action actions are supposed to happen. Then you have to work on it. 
We have, then the ten kusalas are there, so you have to work on it, work on them. Thereby, you are clearing almost all the bad karma, unless you have done those six worse karma. So definitely, there is a possibility. So please uh, try to think and then put into practice. Not just bring this home and then leave it somewhere. Try to think about how to make it a uh, workable plan. Thinking thus, we are going to do a, a chanting at this point. The chanting we are going to do today is going to be Kasi Bharat Vajra Sutta, page number 94. This sutta was given to a farmer, Kasi Bharat Vajra. When the Buddha went to his place, he said, why you come and ask me food? You go and do a job, find your food. And the Buddha said, no, I also farm. Then he asked, where is your paddy field? Where are your cows? Then Buddha said, Dhamma thinks for that. Sadda bijang tapoti. My crops are my sadda. Trust about the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Tapo buti. You said you want rain for your cultivation, right? My, culti my uh, uh, rain is tapo menance. Right? So in that way, Buddha was bringing lots of metaphors, metaphors to the farming culture, and finally, he understood uh, the Buddha's thumb. So I think uh, a lot of things to learn, you can learn later, but now we are going to chant. May the chanting that we are doing uh, be always with you. May the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha always be with you. May, may this chanting, may uh, the blessings that you are creating through the chanting, Help you, your family members, uh, be well, happy all the time. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Evang me sutang ekang samayang bhagava magade subiharati dakkina girisming ekanalayang brahmanagami tena ko panasamayena Kasi Bharat Vajas Brahmanas Panchamantani Nangal Satani Payuntani Honti Vapakali Ataku Bhagava Pubbanha Samayang Nivasitva Patta Chivar Madaya Yena Kasi Bharat Vajas Brahmanas kamantu tenu pesang kami tena ku panasamayena kasibaran vajas brahmanas parivesana vatati ateku bhagava yena parivesana tenu pesang kami upesang kami tua Eka mantang antasi adesaku kasiba radvaju brahmanu bhagavang tang pindaya titang diswane bhagavang tang e tadavuch ahanku samane kasamich vapamich Kasitvacha vapinvacha bunjami Tvampi samana kasasucha vapasucha Kasitvacha vapinvacha bunjasuti Ahampiko brahmane kasamicha vapamicha Kasitvacha Vapitvach bunjamiti Naku pane mayang pasam Bhoto gotamas Yugangva nangalangva Palang palangva Pachanangva Balivandeva 
अथ च पन भवंगोतमो अहम पिको ब्राह्मण कसा च वपा च कसीवाच वपिवाच भुंजाती अथ को कसी बारवाचो ब्राह्मणो भगवान गाथाय अज भासी कस को पटिजानासी न च पसाम थे कसी कसी नो पुच्चि तो ब्रूहि यथा जाने मुते कसी सदा बीज तपो वुंति पन्या मे युग नंगल हिरी सा मनुयत सती मे पाल पाचन काय गुत्तो वची गुंतो आहारे उदरे यथो सच्चं खरो मि निंदन सो रच्चं पमोचनं वीरियं मे दुरधोरैहं योगके मा दिवाहनं गच्छति अनिवन्तन्तं यत् गन्त्वा न सोचति एव मे सा कसी कंठा साहूति अमतम फला एक कसी कसी वन सब दुखा पमुच्यती अथ को कसी बारवाजो ब्राह्मणो महतिया खंस पातिया पायास वज्रहिन्वा भगवत उपनामीसी भुंजत्थु भवंगोतमो पायास कस को भव यंगि भवंगोतमो अमृतम फल कसी कसती गाता भी गीता मे अभोजनीय संपस्ता ब्राह्मण ने सदमो गाता भी गीता पनुदंति बुद्धा दमे सती ब्राह्मण बुद्धि अन्न चवली महेशिंग की नाशवं कुकुच्चूपसंत अन्न पानीन उपटहसु कितंग पुण्य पिखस होती अथ कस चाहंग भो गोतम इम पायास दमी नक्वाहंग तंग ब्राह्मण पशा सदेव के लोके सर के संब्रह्म के सम ब्राह्मणिया पजाय सदेव मनुषाय यो पायासो बुद्धो सम्मा परिणाम गच्छेय अन्यत्र तथागत तथागत सवक तेन ही ब्राह्मण तंग पायास अपहरिते वे अपान के वे ओपिलापेति अथ को कसी बारवाजो ब्राह्मणो तंग पायास अपान के उदके ओपिलापे अथ को सो पायासो उदके पक्की चिचिटाति चिटिचिटाति संधूपाति संपदूपाति सेयता नाम फालो दिवस सतो उदके पक्की चिचिटाति चिटिचिटाति संधूपाति संपदूपाति सो पायासो उदके पक्की चिचिटाति चिटिचिटाति संधूपाति संपदूपाति 
Ataku kasi baran baju, brak menu sang bingu, lo mahat jatu, ye ne bhagwa tenu pesang kami, upesang kami tua bhagwetu, padi susirasa nipatin ba bhagwang tang e tadebuc, abik kan tang bhugutem. Abikkan tang bhugutam seyata pibhu Nikkujja tang va ukkujja ya Patichan nang va vivare ya Mulhas va mangang achikhe ya Andhakari va tele panju tang dhari ya Chakku mantu rupa ni dak kinti ti Eva meva mabhuta gota mena aneka pariyayena Dhammu pakasitu Esahang bhagavan tang gota mang saranang ganchami Dhammancha bhikkhu sanggancha Labeya mahang bhotu gotamas Santike pabbajang labeyang upasang padangti Alatko kasibaran vaja ubrakmanu Bhagavatu santike pabbajang alat upasang padang Achirupa sampanu ko panayasma Bharat Vaju Eko Vupa Kattu Appa Mattu Atapi Pahitattu Viharangtu Nachira Seva Yassathaya Kula Putta Samma Deva Agarasma Anagariyang Pabba Janti Tadanuttarang Brahma Chariya Pariyo sanang ditteva Dhamme sayang abhinya Satchi katwa Upasampajja vihasi Kina jati vusitang Brahma chariyang Katang karaniyang Naparang ittathayati Abhinhanyasi Anyataru chakho Panayasma bharad vaju arhattang aho siti ete na satcha vajjena Dukkha vupa samintu te ete na satcha vajjena Baya vupa samintu te ete na satcha vajjena Ruga vupa samintu te Asinsana, these are the Stanzas we are chanting, followed by the main chanting. Sabbitiyo vivajjantu sabberu vidasthu Mate bhavat vantarayu sukhe dighayu ko bhav Bhavatu sabb mangalang rakhantu sabb devata Sabh buddha nubhavene sada sutti bhavantu te Bhavatu sabh mangalang rakhantu sabh devata Sabh dhamma nubhavene sada sutti Bhavatu sabh mangalang rakhantu sabh devata Sabh sangha nubhavene sada sutti bhavang tute sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. In order to end the retreat, I'm going to give you the five precepts. If you want to keep your eight precepts, you can keep even today. But if you want to take five precepts, please say namotasa bhagavatu three times.
Buddhang sare nanggat chami Dhammang sare nanggat chami Sanghang sare nanggat chami Dutiyang pi buddhang sare nanggat chami Dutiyang pi dhammang sare nanggat chami Dutiyang pi sanghang sare nanggat chami Tatiyang pi buddhang sare nanggat chami Tatiyam pi dhammang sare nanggat chami Tatiyam pi sanghang sare nanggat chami Five precepts Panati pata viramani sikha padang samadhyami Adinna dana viramani sikha padang samadhyami Kami sumiccha chara viramani sikha padang samadhyami Musava da viramani sikha padang samadhyami Surami raya majjapama dhadhana viramani sikha padang samadhyami Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Now we are coming to the uh, transference of good karmas and sharing good karmas uh, with uh, Devanaga Mahidika. So for that, we are going to reflect upon all the good karmas uh, we've been doing uh, today, yesterday, since yesterday, you've been taking precepts and then uh, uh, practicing meditation, listening to uh, Dhamma sharing about how to clear bad karma. Uh, we take it optimistically not to do bad karma, but we understood what to do with uh, uh, bad karmas that had already been done on your side. And we made it a meditation. And then today we had a Q&A session. Yesterday afternoon we had a uh, interview type discussion with uh, uh, Uncle Vijay and walking meditation, chanting, uh, reflection more than more importantly because whatever you do, if you don't reflect, then you don't know what's going to happen to what you learn. You reflected, so a lot of things were going on. So you've been actually creating lots of good karmas actually so far. So may all these good karmas be transferred to all the departed ones, including the Sangha members who have lived here, starting from Venerable K. Sri Dhamma, Dhamma Nanda Nayaka Theru, and all the other reverend monks who have been here for 100, almost 100 years time. And all the other devotees, lots of people who have donated these places and passed away their family members. And your part, your maybe your uh, parents, your other people, whoever passed away in the name of you in this life and in past life. May they all be able to receive all these precious good karmas we've been making. May they all be happy and finally attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Idam me nyati nang hutu sukita huntu nyateyu 
idam me nyati nang hutu sukita huntu nyateyo idam me nyati nang hutu sukita huntu nyateyo at the same time may all the good karmas be shared by all the deva naga mahindika and other beings may they protect and bless all of us for good health quality of life prosperity we are going to fondly remember our chief reverend k sri dhammaratana nayaka thero and other resident monks and also uh, sasana abhud society for hosting buddhist mahavihara hosting this event there are a lot of things to have organized so they have organized nicely uh, food place many people were involved some of the volunteers they took care of the food for the uh, two days so they took care of our lunch Uh, and breakfast and many other things we are thankful to everybody brother leslie is is behind who has done lot of logistic other things and also volunteers in the back our uh, technical person suranga and all the others who i can remember who i cannot remember they have done an even a uh, very uh, enterprising work here uh, uh, very uh, what you call uh, meticulously uh, for the place arranging organizing everybody who have joined Uh, who could not join today we have to uh, uh, gratefully remember all the efforts your all the efforts have not gone unnoticed we do understand we are very thankful grateful uh, more importantly for all of you who made time to come here right right after the cutting the ceremonies uh, you thought that we have to go to this uh, retreat and learn uh, and then learn something that you Uh, did not learn that much about it and perhaps the sutta we just chanted perhaps you may have not chanted this sutta as well kasi bharat dwaja sutta right so a lot of things have happened so i think it's a very grateful fruitful effort you may have done may all of us including everybody that i mentioned they all be protected blessed by the deva naga mahindika for good health quality of life prosperity and safety may devanaga mahindika in particular bless our dhamma journeys may our dhamma journeys become very consistent seamless dhamma journeys not stagnated deviated dhamma journeys may they be very direct on the path the direct path is noble eightfold path may we get lots of support blessings from this devanaga mahindika in order for us to execute the rest of our dhamma journey and finally may devanaga mahidika also attain the supreme bliss of nibbana sadhu sadhu sa etavata cha ammihi sambhatang punya sampadang sabbe deva anumodantu sabbha sampatti siddhiya etavata cha ammihi sambhatang sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabbha sampatti siddhiya ittavataj amhehi sambhatang punya sabbe satta anumodantu sabbha sampatti siddhiya aaka satta cha bhummatta deva naga mahiddika punyantang anumoditva chirang rakhang tuluka sasanam aaka satta cha bhummatta deva naga punyantang anumoditva chirang rakhang tudesanam aaka satta cha bhummatta deva naga mahiddika punyantang anumoditva chirang rakhang tumang paranti chirang rakhang tutvan sadati at this point we are going to continue our wish to be surrounded with kalyana mitras we are very blessed to have learned from the buddhist teachings at the same time we are very very blessed to learn from the sangha members and other speakers and from each other right maybe we don't know some other stuff we learn from each other so this kalyana mitra friendship is an accomplishment in our life may this kalyana mitra friendship uh, be always with us till we attain nibbana thinking thus we going to make the greatest dhamma wish इमीना पुण्य कमीन मामी बाल समागमु सतं समागमु तु याव निम्बान पत्तिया finally may all the good karmas you been creating from the day 
you wanted to enroll for the retreat. Uh, good karmas are starting from that point onwards. And during the time, for the two days, for every bit of piece of thing that you may be, you've been creating so far, may all these good karmas be support you and helpful for all of us to attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Abhivadana siris nichang vadha pachainu chattaru dhamma vadhanti ayuvannu sukhang balang ayura rugya sangpati sagga sangpati me vich atu nibbana sangpati iminati samijatu sadhu 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 just before we bow to the Buddha Dhamma Sangha, I would like to invite Brother Leslie to come up here and then uh, say a few words about the whole event for the last time from the Vihara side. After Brother Leslie's uh, speech, you bow in down and then there will be a group photo and putting things back. Uh, so I think I'm just here to wrap up everything, just to tell you that we have come to the end of this two-day retreat. And Bhante has done all the thanks. I think he has thanked everyone. I don't need to repeat my, your, myself again and do it a double take. But I think we should all be very grateful to Bhante for being able to spare the time with us and sharing the Dhamma and teaching us uh, the different methods of how to reduce or overcome. I don't use the word overcome, I clear bad karmas, <laughs> yeah, and uh, which is something never been done before here, at least in Buddhist Mahavira. So this is the first. So let's put our palms together and wish Bhante, uh, what, what shall we wish you, Bhante? You have done so much good things, I don't know what to wish you already. <laughs> good health, long life, and continue the Dhamma work, and we would like to see you again soon, because he's going to leave end of this month. So we want him back. So we hope Bhante will be able to join us next year, uh, equally as long uh, this time. And uh, Bhante, thank you so much on behalf of the Buddhist Mahavihara and everyone involved. And I hope everyone, I think Bhante had already mentioned that, that you had benefited greatly from this retreat. Yeah, I don't think anybody here is regretting spending two days with him. Uh, and uh, Mante, thank you so much. And on behalf of the Committee of Management and the monks of the Buddhist Mahavira, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Uh, we will take the group photograph outside on the staircase. I think it's much easier than moving furniture. So please uh, step outside and... Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's bow three times to Bhante, okay? Uh, do not move anything, just leave everything as it is. Uh, the boys will help clear it. I think it's much easier for them. Uh, so just take your belongings and just step outside and I'll invite Bante to sit together with the rest of the group here. Yeah? 